so this week I'm thinking another mini gadget scrap marathon <clears throat> some of the palette goods um I've been doing some depopulating so um last night I just came out here for a couple of hours just to um get some boards prepared only a few boards but um just getting them prepared to be photographed for my new buyer um, so just cherry picked a few not much but just a few little goodies off of just those ones there <coughs> um, and then i'll put them away elsewhere and then a few strategic ices and uh, just a few mlccs uh, not much but they all add up so it's not around a bit yeah, so what I think I need to just um, have a bit of a clean up because, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a big mess. I need to sort, get my boxes put, I've taken them out of my other storage location. I want to put them in here, but oh, trying to get them to fit is another story. So, um, but I need to keep everything in here now because I'm trying to empty out the caravan ready to get it scrapped out and to get my new workshop this year. So, yeah, got to make this work somehow. So I'm going to clean up off camera and then I'll come back to you and then we'll see what goodies we've got in the palette, the latest palette. Uh, there's definitely a couple of things I'll, I'm eager to get into. I want to see if there's copper tanks in a couple of things. So let's get on it. OK, so a little progress report. Um... <laughs> I've decided I'm going to go through the further processing tubs here and um, see what I can sort out. I've decided, see, look Irish, scrapping Irish, I am proving to you I am no hoarder. I've decided I've got too many magnet speakers. So they're going. I'm going to get rid of them. Yes, I am. Although this one's quite nice. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. So over here is looking a bit better. I've got my shelves a bit more organised at least. Um, well, at least this middle one. Maybe don't look at the rest. <laughs> kind of. Um, so yeah, this is sort of my depopulation station. Um just uh, tr I'm trying to separate the components as I go along now um, so what I do depending on where I do it I take a separate big tub depopulate um, have some mini these for the components put them all in and then I can just come and I can just pour them uh, in the drawers bundle them up get them sold so so yeah this is this is looking better um, down here I've got boards still for sorting. This is from depopulating. Um, so that one needs sorting. That one needs sorting. Um, they need sorting. Uh, but I've got a couple of tubs and a whole storage box now of sorted boards. That's that's awesome. Um, high, they're all the high grade ones. So now I need to sort the sort of few high grade ones left and then... Um, the mid and low grade um yeah so anyway i thought i'd have a little look um at what i've got going on over here oh i've got another one i forgot i just love these spinny spinnies if i can hold it properly spinny spinny you are feeling very much like you love everyday solos videos. Ooh, keep watching. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these things. I just, they're a sensory dream. That's staying. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my plan. Um, kind of getting there. Slowly but surely. So this week, we are going to start scrapping out some of the palette goodies, the latest palette to see what we've got um yeah so this is my first little selection here so we've got these two tanks 
Um, I'm really hoping there'll be something nice. Um, this one I'm not so sure, but this one hopefully there might be a little copper tank in there, but I'm not sure. There's this um, shower mate pump system, so I'm hoping for some copper goodies in there. There was that random thing, if you remember. It is electrical. It looked like one of those foot pedal things, but what this would be with the electrical component, I've no idea. Balloon pump, which I'm going to test because I hate blowing up balloons and I hate the manual pumps. They're rubbish. So, you know, you never know. Um, kids karaoke machine bit uh, and the grow lamp thing underneath. So I thought we'd start with this, see how long it takes. Um, it's just nice to see what's inside some of this stuff, isn't it? So uh, first things first, testing the balloon pump. So lead all looks good. Uh, I can see it's broken here. Um, but uh no. aha okay so it doesn't work on the lowest that's obviously why it's been thrown away as faulty but Whoa. that is strong i'm just uh now where it'd be great if i could just find you Okay, a little bit of fun here. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that. Can this this baby's a keeper. You wanna try? Yeah. Okay, put the ball. Hang on. I just need to get it so your face is in on the camera. Okay. Go. Wait, how do you turn Press on? it that way. This way? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Yeah. There we go. That is so cool. That is cool, isn't it? Yep, keeping. she's a keeper. Keeping, keeping that. That's Please awesome. She's going to love that. Well, it's not a toy. It is a balloon pump, but... Yeah. I'm, I mean, mummy's having fun, so... <laughs> yeah. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. I'll have to show Daddy that one. Yeah, that's a keeper. Because I tried... I've got a... Um, I have a... You know, one of those electric pumps for pumping up the paddling pool and stuff. I tried to pump the balloons up with that the other day. Useless. It just didn't have the power to actually push the air to continue the balloon expanding. It just expanded to the, the shape of the sort of flaccid balloon and that was it. So, but yeah, obviously there's some kind of issue. Um, the lower end isn't working. The um, less powerful, but the most powerful let's face it that's the right way around right who cares that the less powerful bit is working okay brilliant so so guys that one no scrappy oh yeah also oh blood pressure monitor i'm gonna give that a scrap out too see um what's turned on now Yeah, it's clearly faulty. Okay, we're better about scrapping that out now. Okie doke. So, I think that's heavy, that one. So I'm thinking good things. So, what should we start with? Hmm. Let's start with this copper tank because i think it's going to be the most boring okay so first things first let's cut these straps off now 
Now that's how we like foam to be removed, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay, so right away I can see some brass goodies, which I didn't notice when I got it out of the um, palette. Oh, I don't remember seeing these anyway. Um, so let's just... It's got the wrong attachment on it. Let's just uh, see if we can get in there. What I'm hoping for is not getting any disgusting water on myself. <laughs> that might be being optimistic, but you know, we can but try. Nice earth wire here. Oh yeah, I'll take that, thank you very much. Yep, and look, this is actually, this is actually just a strand of copper. Look at this. Check that out. Very nice indeed. I'll slip it here and I'll get the other bit when I do the rest. Okay, so that is just copper itself. That's what we like. Don't even need to do anything to it. Nice. Okay, right, more foam junk. Uh, now I just need this goodie section. Now I wonder if there's brass in there. Possibly. There's not much. There's no pull, so that could be the case. I think some at the top as well. Right. So if I can get the screwdriver in, I should just be able to actually. Remove this. Can't quite get the angle though on that one, which is unfortunate. Oh, I can get it with this one though. Nice indeed. Okay. Brilliant. Now, I think that these are. Oops, not too big. Brassy goodness. Let's try and get those out later. Um, looks like there's also some brass clips here. No, they're not. They look brass, but they're fake. Fake, I tell you. Okay. So, let's get onto the tank. Now, there's a copper lid on this tank. I remember seeing that. This weird. Let's take it out. Right. Oh, that's solid on there, that is. That's not uh, lifting away easily. Uh, but we've got an element. Look at the lime scale build up on this. And it's me. No, it stinks. I hate it. Oh, stagnant water. There is. There's another sort of pipe in there though, which oh dear, not for the faint-hearted. Let's see if I can. Look at that clog of lime scale. No wonder this thing packed up. Jeez, I need a steel rod. Cause I like steel rods and I cannot lie. Like other scrappers can do now. That looks like a good one. Oh, they come in so handy. Wow. Whoa! Came right out the other end.
See then. Oh, it went through the middle of it. Now well, I don't think that's. Oh, I've lost my long-handled. Oh, I'll take it back. Whatever's in there is non-ferrous. So that means we get the fun, fun job of breaking into this. Before I do that, let's get these bits. Is it good for us? Goodness. There we go. Copper and brass. Actually, all brass. Sweet. Okay. In there. Nope. I'll leave those on. So, plastic and a rubber seal. Okay, so we've got to get into this. Sucks the specs, although they're not so. I, I think I feel like I need some tortoise shell slash leopard print style ones there is these are a bit plain thing. so uh there's some on my wish list <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking but actually i think i will buy those soon because i really like them let's just try pulling the baby out Put in depends on whether oh yes there we are nice bit of copper pipe sweet and then just Gross. Might be some. Might be some little brass bits there. I'll look later. Look at this one. We've got some nice cable cord. Okay, and then obviously some steel here. And then this interesting switch box. I like it. Nice bit of brass on there too. All right. I reckon there's going to be some silver contact beauty in there. Shall we? Have a little looky. Look see. Interesting, isn't it? Nice little bit of copper, copper in there. Can you see that? That came from the single strand I took off. Bit of brass there, and then inside the switch box. Oh yeah, nice bit of brass. And look at this one big switch here. And under there, we have a nice big silver contact. So, this 
is very heavy. It's almost like um, solid rubber, if that makes sense. Maybe it's a sort of protective waterproof thing. Okay, so that's massive. Very nice. Very nice. Brass, copper, silver contact, and steel. So there we go. They're the goodies we want out of the switch, which is awesome. To the side, and of course, don't forget there's some actually some nice cable, nice cord here, nice and thick on all three strands there. So that's great. So that, oh, not forgetting the stinking. Actually, I think it was the box that stunk. Yeah, this doesn't smell. Um, the element, nice copper lid here as well for me to get off. So, awesome. That was tank number one. Now, for tank number two. Oh, and don't forget some brassy bits here as well on the uh, connectors. Okay, big screws. All right, my sucker upper magnet has broken. I'm I need to. Uh, I'm going to get into it. This one, magnets have moved, and uh, not very strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the neodymium. See, <laughs> I'm going to cut these out. Uh, three of these and I'm going to put those around there and this will become the, the nuts the big boy of the magnets but that is a round to it job and I'm not quite around to it I'm going to put that there so I just took it apart okay tank number two without further ado now this is a bit heavier so obviously it's got plastic junk so this is a Streamline Hydra Sadia. So, I mean, I don't know if that's probably pronounced that wrong. Oops, sorry. Okay. Oh, well, there's the first bit. Of course, this could just be heavier because it's got plastic. Oh, it's the same. Uh, it's the plastic that's heavy. Boo hiss. Look, exactly the same setup here. Yeah. But, you know, we know there's going to be a um, copper pipe in there and copper on here and a heating element, etc. etc. It's quite tight. But what a great idea this is. Why don't they do this with everything? Just hold the foam on with um, straps. So you can just take it off. Man, they should do that with the copper tanks. It'd be so much easier. So much quicker and easier. This one's actually got the dial on it this time. get the angle but that's okay because we've got a hammer where there's a will or where there's a hammer there's a way people okay Foam gone. Oh, slightly different uh, construction. Very similar though. There's the copper pipe. That's what we want. There we go. Break the seal there. There's 
the end of it. Nice. I'm hope I yeah, I'm definitely getting those brassy bits out of there. And then we want the copper pipe also. So This one, that budging. And there's not a single chance it's going to come out of that hole until it's a lot more open than it is. So, 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 so. Okay, so my battery died I'm not entirely sure at what point so um, I did battle and get the uh, ooh, spider oh funny come here little spider there you are oh no 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 it's gone all right it's gone um yeah so I did get these further bits of copper out of that tank um yeah but I, I don't know where you saw to so that was the goodies on the tank and then moving on to the pump um just got this capacitor out so i have never actually ever been shot by a capacitor but you can short them out if uh you know big ones can give you a shock depending on when it was last in use now let's see um, so I did weigh this up, it was about £11, which is pretty nice. So let's just get out everything we can see so far. Ooh, beefy. These things stink. They do, they do. They have a very unpleasant smell to them. I like these, these are good for creations. One day I might actually have the time to sit and make some stuff. I need to get on with the fish challenge. I'm doing a challenge with a few. People, some of you know, Ralph Morick's doing it, Ian Matthews, Bagot's Corner, all handmade. Um, ego from all, all handmade. All right, so next thing is obviously these. But what I might do before that is just uh, get off these. Just makes it a bit easier. Actually, I said that I might use them. I might do these this way. I might lock in their fifteen. I reckon they're fifteen. Oh yes, makes it a heck of a lot easier. Even that rusted one, sweet. Okie doke. Right, now.
Okay. Alrighty. Now we just got this bad boy. Get this out. Seriously? Nothing? God, look at that. Solid chunk. Okay. Hmm. But with a woodworking vice. Not easy. Eventually, I'll get a decent metal. Should have done. I should have tested it was copper first, shouldn't I? Oh, I've started, so I'll finish. Let's slow mow it. Yahoo! Copper! Okay. It certainly is worth my time. See this beefy boy? This beefy one gets it done. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up the outer case with a heat gun instead of uh, instead of cutting it. I'm just going to heat it up. Expanded at all. I think so. That worked a treat. There we go. There's that bad boy out. This side's all mushed and smushed. So this would be the side to get it out from. Not bad, huh? Not bad indeed. Right. That was all much harder than it needed to be, wasn't it? Heat gun I'm going to need later on for another project anyway, so I can leave that out. Okay, so. Put all these handy little thingamajiggies in here. Spring is spring. Okay. Oh yeah, I like washer type things, creations. Okay. So, what was on those two little um, plastic bits here? Let's have a look. Now, this. Nice. Copper motor, great. On to the next thing. 
Now this this is random because as I said before, I'm not entirely sure. Oh look, and I bought long bits for this, and the adapter is the wrong adapter, right? How is that even possible? Because so I bought the bits and I bought the adapters. It says it adapts. So it takes these, great. But look at the size of that. And that is way too big for this, which it's supposed to go on. Even if I take off this bit, which is mighty stiff, I have to say. Even if I take off this bit, still not the right thing. So I'm like, what the hell is that even supposed to go on? So not happy. Um, I think Greek Gog said he was gonna um, send me a link to the right adapters, but I did message in a stream. N nothing's come through, and it could be that if he just posted the link, that YouTube removed it straight away. But anyway, a bit annoying because I can't use them till I can figure out why it's such a nonsense adapter. So anyway. Uh, this is going to be by hand, if I can even see. Oh, it's just an ordinary screwdriver. That's all right. Uh, I think I've had it. There it is. Here it is. So, I'll come back to you when I've opened all of these. So the last broken one of these that I had, I just threw straight into shred, a uh, light iron, but um, it didn't have the electronic kind of aspect that this one does. So um, I haven't done that with this. because I want to see what's inside the thing. Electric mini exercise bike. Mm -hmm. Electric mini exercise bike. A okay, don't worry. We're outside. We're in the country. There will be spiders, but they can't hurt you. So that's okay. I had one in here a minute ago too. Huh? I had one in here a minute ago too, but he ran off and I couldn't catch him. Wait, was it a black one? Yes. A black one. Yes. Do you think it was the same one? Yeah. No way. Okay, so something's holding this thing together. There we go. Might help. Okay, a bit of little circuit board. Really, not a lot going on in there quickest thing because I've not got the time for messing around here I reckon I need to somehow there must be it must be in there Yatsu! Okay. Oh no! It's reverse, of course. Don't. Okay. So, they're now unbolted, so can we just...
So now this could just a chunk can go into steel. There we go. Nice motor. Pretty oily. Not be easy to get out. There we go. <coughs> Another chunk. It's not as big as it looked, actually, is it? Little armature. Okay, looks like copper to me, which is awesome. Let's <coughs> <coughs> get some fresh air. This has got a real horribly chemically smell to it. that's uh, burning my throat. So that is going to stay out here. I mean, it's just, it's got the lubrication on it, but I've never had that before. So we'll leave that out there in the fresh air. That was weird, that was. Okay, so, this little copper motor in there. Um, some cord. More plastic junk. A uh, little board here. Nothing spectacular. Some goodies on that way, obviously. Okay, copper bearing goodies, little heat sink, MOSFET, some copper in there, little M&M, &M. so yeah, you know, you know, you know, it's plastic everywhere now, that's the only downside to having to beast your way in, so then you've just got your little control panel. This won't be much in here. Sake. Stuff is not playing ball today, is it? Okay. Little circuit boards and switches and LEDs. Nice. Little I see. Boop. Okay, so that was inside that thing. Mini motorized exercise bike. Bizarre, isn't it? Okay, let's see what lack of stuff is in this. This is going to be like virtually nothing. A bit of disco ball function. <laughs> so. One should be a nice short and sweet. Come on, open. On this one, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, here. here we go. Oh, there's the blow, guys. 
So, got a little tiny board here with some silver contacts. Better than nothing. Oh, in here as well. Got the screen there. Interesting. Some days stuff just doesn't want to come apart, does it? But that's when brute force comes into play. Okay. Um. Should be some brass inside like the battery pack here. Batteries for batteries, plastic junk. Oh, what was that now? Glass. Was that glass? What just stabbed me? Was that a stab or was that a. Can't see any glass. The screen break? Oh, yeah. Not the screen, but the plastic. Ah, uh, right. circuit board quite a nice little circuit board actually not too bad not too shabby so circuit board screen obviously the screen needs to be recycled responsibly and then we've got another little um tiny bit of board here there's another silver contact, no doubt. Yep. So we shall feel the switch in it. <laughs> Keep that. Okay. Let's look at what we've got here. So this is a bit better than I was expecting for the look of the quality of the product, but um, got a nice capacitor there. That's nice. You've got a crystal there. And just a couple of little ICs. And some COB chip on board. So there's a pre-printed IC under there that they've just bought that uh, resin on but there's some gold flashing here as well so I'm quite surprised by this so that's the little basically <laughs> the caliber of the goodies out of that little kids karaoke machine not bad interesting and this uh, disco ball get up here so yeah there we go. I think second to last we'll do this growing thing, which at first I thought it was a uh, TV stand. <laughs> I took it out of the pallet, because to be fair, that's, that is what it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like a TV stand, but then obviously on close inspection you can see that's definitely not a TV stand. So, let's... Oh. Release the top. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's do the top first. Look at all of these lights. LEDs. So, first fix. Plastic. snap the metal frame. I don't know my own strength. <laughs> Go into the recycling. So I know my door's banging. It's probably a bit annoying, isn't it? So you've got the plate. Full of LEDs there. Interesting. Aluminium. Right now for the base. Let's see what we've got here. growing lamp. Stereotypically, um, these get used for naughty things. But there are obviously legit reasons to use a growing lamp as well. Okay. So, and here's your boards. Transformer, nice transformer. Capacitor there. Some copper bearing goodies. More on the power board. Nice, 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 nice. Good, all good. And even on here as well, actually. Some LEDs, crystal, switches. So, actually, yeah, not bad. Not bad for a random and plasticky thing. <laughs> Last but by no means least, the blood pressure monitor. Let's get into that. Double screws. This looks like it has a battery backup. Uh, let's get the batteries out. Uh, no screws inside there. Okay. Screen. Oh, now this is interesting, isn't it? Who's ever seen inside a small blood pressure monitor before? Some, some of you probably have. Okay, so you've got your switches here. Obviously your screen. Main board. And then you've got your motor here to power the 
pump. Interesting, it's not, it's not particularly complicated, is it? This is where your air net is. Okay, so I will be wanting that little mini motor out of there. Gosh, I dropped so much. I dropped so much stuff. There we go little solenoid there show you the good stuff oh look at that there we go look at that what a beaut and then we've got another motor here Pasting this stuff. There we go. There. Rather interesting. your board you just got a flat pack and little bits and pieces a couple of diodes um that's about it really little crystal there capacitor I wanted to show you the goods inside here Looks like the board is going to break before it gives it up. <sighs> no. Well, there's a little bit of copper in there anyway. <laughs> you can see a glimpse. Okay guys, well that's it. We've come to the end of this week. Um, some interesting finds actually um, inside some of those things. I always love just seeing what's in components, what, what components are inside things. Um, so here are the goods. So we've got all these different, these different bits of circuitry, um, different kind of levels there. Um, cable, some of it very very high quality like these ones the earth and some of this single core this is another single core here um it's a little pile of cable the two heating elements these have got a copper lid uh, the copper pipe which was a challenge and um, got that little bit as well can't hear the beads in there but there should be some little beads in there um yeah, just all this uh, excess metal from the best things, probably this copper motor. Um, that's nice and heavy. So yeah, some interesting little trinkets here. I also forgot that stink, that stinky one that I put outside. So there's that as well. So that was um, the a mini gadget scrap marathon number one from the latest palette i've got lots more goodies from that palette to do uh probably do some more next week try and find some more things that are just a little bit different that we don't get every day to actually have a little look in okay guys well thank you so much for watching um take care have a great week and just wonder what was in that um take care have a great week and i will see you on the next one if i don't see you around bye